Hey, what's up? It's Jared. And after watching this extreme couponing show, I figured I'd try it out for myself. My mom would be so proud. So I, for the la last four hours, I've been obsessively printing and uh, getting all the different coupon deals. So I'm at the local Smith's here at my house and we're going to try this out, see if I have any luck here. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so these guys are doing a deal. Four boxes of General Mills cereal for 10 bucks, and then I've got three coupons, 75 cents off each, and then you get a $5 card, so it comes out to 50 cents a box. Okay, I've got my uh, cereal loaded here. We'll see what happens right now. It says 14.32. So again, so my second transaction, 39.40 before coupons or anything. We'll see what we get here. And after that, we got it down to 20.06. Okay, it's Jared. I just uh, came back from my uh, coupon extravaganza here. So um, what I ended up doing is to kind of trick the system like they do on the TV show. I did two different transactions. So the four boxes of cereal that I got for $10, you got a $5 gift card from Smith's. Plus I used coupons on top of that. So uh, my, um, my cereal, I ended up paying about 73 cents a box of cereal when everything was said and done. I had screwed up in reading a promotion, so there was two coupons that I wasn't able to cash in. So I actually ended up spending $1.50 more than normal. But I'm cool with that because I still saved some money. I then rang up the second order, used the $5 gift card that I got, and um, ended up saving a grand total of $27.19 today on my groceries. So, no, I didn't get $1,000 in merchandise for $100, bucks, but I did save $30 bucks today on groceries and food that I actually use. A couple other big wins I got. So, I got cereal for less than a dollar a piece. I also got a dozen eggs for $0.45. Cents. So, uh, you know, really good deals. I'm going to try to hit another grocery store, see if I can use the rest of my coupons and uh, get a better deal. Um, just a suggestion. One thing I learned is I didn't know how much the items were at the grocery store. I just had a list of coupons and a list of specials on, on some of the items. So, um, knowing what the items are here at the store would be a huge help in, in knowing, you know, how much I'm going to save and how much I'm going to expect to pay. But overall, good experience. I saved 30 bucks. That's like a quarter of a tank of gas. And, uh, that's Jared's Extreme Couponing. <laughs> All right, I'm back in my house, and here's how I fared all of this stuff. Oh, forgot the, the free ketchup I got as part of the deal. Here we go. All of this stuff, excluding the mess in the background, about $30 out of pocket. I could probably do a lot better, and I think what I'm definitely going to do, print some more of the coupons for the cereal, head back over to the grocery store, and get a bunch more boxes at $0.50 cents a piece. So, there you go. Jared, the extreme couponer. Well, not really, but uh, it can be done. Later.